Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday, December 19th, 2015, and this is a follow-up to my video just before in response to Smith de Mister's video, Nibiru, Second Sun, December 18th, 2015, Copper Cat Petal, Mexico. Um, I mentioned that I would link in the description area some other images of a black spot in front of the sun photos and uh, the link is in that video but I thought I'd reprise um, a video that I did earlier by going straight to my Facebook page and where I have um, published an album of those images and let's have a look at them right now so this is from my Facebook page now this is a public link so if you're not on Facebook you will be able, you will still be able to view these images so these are the so-called Nibiru black dot pictures that I have uh, collected from various sources and uh, we can see this one is from New Maya Station uh, down in the Antarctic. This one is a, a black dot reflected in the glass in a window of a building. And now this one is interesting. Uh, looks like a uh, maybe from a projector or a camera or something like that. Let's take a closer look at that one. Um, maybe a camera. I'm not sure what has created that one, but. Uh, Let's have a look at this one. Now this one's interesting because we can see a black dot uh, supposedly in front of the sun, um, but in fact the black dot is the sun. And then we've got this person who's actually taking this photo that we see, and you can see that the flash has created a black dot as it is reflected in this, um, this mirror. And uh, again at a concert we've got a black dot in front of some of the lights. And this one here is from a, um, looks like it was taken maybe from the 60 Minutes documentary. Got a black spot there in front of a, a floodlight. Uh, this one here is interesting. We've got a, a row of uh, street lamps and you can see just on the right hand side there you've got this black dot. There's even one here on the, on the red lamp. You can see it also on this, uh, this one down here and this one here. Um, now here is a string of Christmas lights, and they've also got the black dots. Okay, so as I demonstrated in my previous um, video, that the black dot is actually caused by um, the CCD image sensor um, overloading and creating a null image, which produces a black spot. Yes, sometimes uh, this appears as purple. And when I was playing with that little USB uh, webcam before, um, I found that using an LED torch, I was able to produce some nice uh, black and purple spots. Um, but when I went to set up to do the video, unfortunately the settings on the camera had changed and I was not able to capture that. But I'm going to try and uh, see if I can get that to work again. And if it does, I will bring you a video showing the spots created by my LED torch and that was an interesting one because the LED torch has got a normal torch on the end and it's got a row of three square LEDs on the side and even when I put it on the setting with the three square LEDs on the side working I had three black spots in a row. That would have been a great video to show so hopefully I can bring that to you. So if you check out this album have a look for yourself but also check out the comments underneath because um, I have included a number of links here uh, about the, the um, black sun effect in the, the sensors and you can check those links out. You can um, click on the links from the link that I will send you and uh, check those out as well. Um, so there's quite a bit of information there. Uh, it's not Nibiru in front of the sun. Uh, it is just the image sensor overloading. And uh, it's been a while since I've looked at this and just looking at it, there's um, there's two types of, of main sensor. There's CCD and there's CMOS. And I can't remember. It looks to me like maybe these are the CMOS sensors rather than CCD as I've been calling them in the, in the last video. But um, regardless, it's just an overloading. So there we go, check that out, uh, you'll find a link in the description area and you can take a closer look. Thank you for watching.